Another health scare for Supreme Court Justice Ruth Bader Ginsburg. She underwent surgery today to remove two cancerous growths from her lungs. And we're told the surgery was successful and there are no signs of cancer anywhere else. Ginsburg is the oldest justice on the Supreme Court. And this is the second time she's been hospitalized recently. Just last month, as you may recall, she fell and fractured three ribs. I want to bring in CNN Chief Medical Correspondent Dr. Sanjay Gupta to get the latest on this. Sanjay, Ginsburg is 85 years old. How serious of a procedure is this for someone her age? What's the recovery like? I think I think uh, it's a it's a you know serious operation. I think at any age, it uh, requires anesthesia. Obviously, you're in the operating room. You're having a one of the lobes of your lung removed. This 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 lobe where these nodules were, uh, and you know I think for anybody it would be a serious operation given her age, 85. Uh, there, there are more precautions taking place. They're probably going to keep her in the hospital a little bit longer. Her recovery may be longer. We don't know if she had a more minimally invasive operation, Pamela, or, or, or the sort of more standard operation. That would also uh, affect her recovery time. My guess is, as you pointed out, she had this rib fracture on November 7th. That's when they found this, these abnormalities in her lung. That was six weeks ago, right? So they, they thought it was okay to wait six weeks. That gives people a little bit of sense of, of the, the, the idea that the doctors did not feel that they needed to rush this. They probably timed it around the holidays so the justice uh, could, could recover uh, after this procedure was done. They also, as you noted, did not find any evidence of additional disease besides these two nodules. And they didn't find any evidence of disease before the operation suggesting that the cancer spread from somewhere else. So this appears to be something that was started in the lung, confined to the lung, and now removed as a result of the operation. But this is the third form of cancer that Justice yeah. Ginsburg has been treated for. Does that increase her odds of developing cancer in some form again? It's, it's a good question. I mean, the, 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 the question doctors always want to answer in a situation like this, you see an abnormality in the lung, did that start in the lung, or are we seeing evidence of what is known as metastatic disease? That means that it started somewhere else and then spread to the lung. Uh, in the statement that they released, they, they were very careful in, in, in how they worded this. They basically said that they did scans beforehand and there was no evidence that there was any other disease in the body suggesting spread. Could it be that someone who had colon cancer in the past and had early stage pancreatic cancer in the past is also more likely to get lung, uh, type of lung cancer? Perhaps, but it, it's not, it really doesn't make a difference in terms of how the treatment or anything will go forward. And just looking for silver lining here, what are the chances these nodules would have been found yeah. had she not fallen and fractured her ribs last month? I, I, think, I think they would not have been found. Uh, they, they were an incidental finding um, because she wasn't having any symptoms, it sounds like. She wasn't, you know, complaining in any way that would have led them to find this uh, before she broke her rib. It, the, the second part of that, though, Pamela, as you might guess, is that if it hadn't been found, the question is, would it have ever been a problem for her in her life? We don't know that, that answer either, but it's one of these situations in medicine because they saw it, because they identified it incidentally after looking at her ribs, uh, they needed to act upon it. And they did that today, which was again, six weeks after the, the, the original diagnosis. All right, Sanjay Gupta, thank you so much.